Hi Neos community. Today I'm going to show a feature uh, related to PHP compatibility, especially PHP 8 compatibility. As you know, every PHP version brings lots of speed improvements and also lots of additional features. And in PHP 8, a feature has landed which is called um, attributes, um, also called annotations in many other systems. And I'm going to show that uh, on an example. So I have a controller here, the registration controller. And here we define some properties. These properties have a documentation block above. And in this documentation block, we have these um, at flow inject markers and uh, divar annotations here. And despite being uh, document uh, despite being documentation blocks, these things actually modify the behavior of the system. So flow inject is one of the most important annotations we have around because this configures dependency injection and it automatically creates an instance of the account repository and injects it into this property without us doing anything. By the way, flow inject is using a so-called lazy dependency injection. So that means it will not inject this um, repository on creation of the controller, but it will only cr um, inject it when you first access it. So it's actually injecting the stuff on demand. And this brings some performance benefits because this enables to only load the classes which you actually need for a certain request and not all of, all of the other ones. Sometimes you don't like this behavior and then you can turn that off um, by specifying lazy equals false here, for instance. And this would mean that actually the dependency is injected in an eager way. So how does this work now with uh, PHP 8 um, attributes? So the attribute syntax um, looks with the hash sign and then the curly braces, or not curly braces, the other braces. <laughs> and then you can specify the annotations. Uh, so flow, oops, what do I do here? Flow inject and the nice thing about this is that this has full ide support without any additional configuration you need to do so php storm intellij fully supports that it also supports uh, attribute auto completion so you can say lazy false for instance at this point in time and this way we can get rid of the annotation above and uh, this um, is just a really nice way of, of, of implementing things by the way this is actually backwards compatible um, so, so that means you, you can um, uh, use that in your projects from PHP 8 onwards, but um, in the flow system, um, you still use the same APIs to access these annotations. So that means for the system, for the flow system, it doesn't matter at all if you specify the annotations in the one or the other way. That just will all work to, all together. Um, what we will also enable in, in, a, in a future release is being able to specify um, the type right here. So that is actually not working uh, right now um, because um, for this lazy dependency injection to work, you would um, we replace this, this object with a so-called proxy object. And this proxy object is not an account repository anymore, but just a generic proxy. Um, so that means if you would like to do that in the, in the longer run, you would need to specify lazy uh, equals false here. Um, and um, I believe there's still uh, one or two issues right now. So that's not working right now, but we will enable that in a future release as well. And then you can decide if you want this really concise syntax and you have pay this bit of performance penalty with disabling the lazy um, dependency injection or whether, and that's my currently prefer preferred way is actually doing it like this for now um, and um, um, benefiting from the lazy dependency injection and still using the new annotations. So I think these annotations um, are really good because they provide a standard which works across all um, PHP, across the whole ecosystem. And so that means I imagine that we will get a lot higher interoperability of these kind of annotations um, in the wild and that's also a really good thing for the community as a whole. So that's it for now and thank you. See you at the next feature.